My brothers and sisters, children of the light, as the Apostle Peter calls us in 1 Peter 2. Um, I want to make something clear and the, uh, about a very important scriptural truth. And um, I, this is not this video is not made or aimed at against any denomination, Christian, God-fearing denomination, to to discredit what they believe. But my aim and, and my theology is just the aim to follow the truth of the Bible, nothing more. Now, often the verse is used in Matthew 16, where Jesus and the disciples is in Caesarea Philippi. And um, Jesus first um, asked them, who do the people say I am? And they say, oh, he is John the Baptist, came back to life. He's the prophet of old. He's Jeremiah. And then Jesus uh, says to Peter, and who do you say? Whom do you say I am? Who do you say I am? And he says, you are the son of God, the Messiah. And then Jesus said, you, you can say this and you know this because it's been revealed to you by my Father in heaven. And then Jesus goes on to say to him in Matthew 16, You are Peter and on this rock I will build my church. So many people feel that Peter is the foundation of Christ's church. That's not true. Jesus is the foundation of his church. And that you can find... And go and read Ephesians 2. Jesus is the cornerstone and the foundation of his church. But I want to take you to the Greek of that specific verse in Matthew 16. And Jesus said to me, you Pietros, the Greek Pietros, which means little rock or pebble, you are called Pietros. Um, remember his name is actually Simon. Um, Jesus changed his name to Pietros. Peter, on you Pietros, which literally means little pebble or little rock, you are Pietros. But then Jesus said, on this Pietra, Pietros Pietra, referring to himself, on this Pietra, I will build my church. And Pietra means a massive, huge rock like an island. And just to, to illustrate this, and I want to give you two references. The one is in um, Deuteronomy 32.4. is one of many references in the Old Testament to God as the rock. So what Jesus was doing was just confirming the Old Testament of him who is God as the rock, the Pietra. In um, Exodus 17.6, we find that when the Jews were in, in the desert... They were, they were thirsty and Moses had to command the rock to give water in the desert. And then in 1 Corinthians 10, the apostle uh, Paul says that that rock symbolized Christ, their Savior. So please don't believe the nonsense. And I say this with kindness, but untruth is untruths when, when people distort biblical scripture for own purpose. Then it is nonsense. I'm sorry. That it was said to Peter, you are the rock and on you the church will be built. Jesus said to him, you are Petra, Petros, the little rock. But on this, referring to himself, the eternal rock, Petra, my church will be built. It's important that we know the truth of the gospel. Please go and your life, sorry, and your life better be built on the rock if you want eternal glory. Go to my website, glitterforchrist.co.za, link to YouTube, follow me, many videos. Please get others to follow and share my videos. That's how you can evangelize. May the one true living God, the Holy Trinity, richly bless you.